Hello and welcome to Master Psychcore. My name is Martina and in this video I'm going to show you some tips on how to improve the user experience of the content editor. If you use the content editor, your site is going to be represented as a tree here on the left hand side. And the first thing you can see is that all of these items have different icons and the icons tell me what type of item this is. And that's something that a developer has set up by choosing an icon for a particular template. And that is the number one and probably most fun part of improving the content editor for users. And to assign an icon to a template, you just go to the template section, find your templates, select it, and then you can go to configure. There we go. And then you can choose an icon from this menu here. Now, these are only some of the icons that you have with Psychor. There are loads more, and I challenge you to use the random tiger skin one. It means that whenever a user creates an item of a particular type, they can instantly recognize it in the tree. Something else you can do to improve the experience for editors is to provide them with sensible titles and help text. Now, because we aren't editing this content in situ, so we aren't looking at the actual website whilst we're doing it, sometimes it's difficult to know what a piece of content actually does. So take page summary, for instance. Even if I preview this page, page summary is something that shows up when this item is used as a data source elsewhere. It doesn't actually display on the page. So as a content editor, I might be confused as to why I'm putting content in and nothing's actually happening. So as a developer, on our data template, we can improve the UI a little bit here. So let's go to the template in question, which is a base template. And we can see we've got our page summary here and that it's a rich text field. Now, when you create your templates and your fields, you get this little substructure of items under your template and page summary is one of them. And if we click that, you can see that we have a load of options for properties we can set on this particular field, like the title, for instance. Now, page summary, that's pretty good as a title, but we could type in page summary for other pages here. So as developers, we still get to use this short name for our field, but our content authors see this. We can also put in help text. I'm going to do that by clicking this button here to navigate to the help area. Did I miss it? Yes, I did. There it is. And we have three options here. One is a help link, one is a long description and a short description. Now, the short description is what you're actually going to see. The long description is a tooltip. Type some text in there. And for page summary, we might write something like content that displays when pages featured uh, on other pages, for example. And we can say for more information, for instance, uh, we might want to send them over to uh, an internet page that has the strategy for how we write content in this particular field. I'm just going to send them over to Google because I don't have one of those pages for this particular site. And actually, I want to do insert external link. Google.com. And instantly, I've made it much easier for a content author to figure out what's going on with the page summary field. Let's go back and see that in action. We're now back on our, our page here. If we scroll to the top and scroll down to our page summary, you can see that we now have a custom title. We have a little bit of help text here. We have a tooltip. And if I click on that help text, it takes me over to Google or in the case of the example, it would take me over to strategy, content strategy, uh, and tell me how to edit that particular field. You might even link it to a particular help page where you have screenshots and examples um, on how to deal with this particular field. So those are some examples of how you might improve the content editor for your users.